The way is a designated special economic zone. After Thailand and Burma signed an MOU in 2008, the Italian Thai Development Public Company Limited signed a framework agreement with the Burmese authorities in November 2010. The Italian Thai company became the only developer of the project. The Burmese government granted a 60-year land lease to the Italian Thai company. According to the Stock Exchange of Thailand, the Italian Thai company has to pay 37.5 million US dollars to the Burmese government. The Dewey coastal region is a rare, straight, pristine southeastern Asian coastline, rich in natural resources, mangrove forests, and biodiversity. Sustainable farming and fishing of the coastline's rich waters, forests, and soil has long provided local people with self-sufficient livelihoods. Until now, local people living along the coastline have been free to fish, but the deep seaport and industrial factories will severely limit the customary fishing rights of indigenous people in future. The Dewey River's Denipan Forest currently supply local families with secure and independent livelihoods. Industrial factory work is subject to availability and sometimes unfair employment practices. Industrial factory work cannot provide local families with livelihood security. The way native people, such as the Dawayan, Karen, and Mon ethnic people live in that area. Their ethnic culture, traditions, and characteristic is going to be uprooted if they are relocated by the Dewey Development Project. Although the native people farm and fish throughout their life, they don't really know how drastically their lives will be changed by this industrial project. <laughs>
Local people are severely deprived of their right to information on the project. The project includes both an eight-lane highway and railway connecting the way deep sea port and Kanchanaburi province of Thailand. Oil and gas pipelines coming from offshore wells owned mostly by PTT will parallel the highway. A power transmission line is also included in the project. Altogether, the project requires a 200-meter wide transportation corridor. There is a significant deforestation as well as illegal logging due to the road construction. An international company is breaching internationally accepted codes of conduct. Before road construction began, the company should have surveyed the project's socio-economic impact on local people as well as how to compensate people for their losers. Instead, the company focused their survey on how much they will benefit from the project. <laughs> The company shouldn't only cooperate with the authorities. The company should recognize that local community participation, education and consent are critical to project development and success. <laughs> 